I'm going to have you as well. I've got this fan's bloody chop started here. What happens is, um, yeah, when I lend it to someone, it doesn't have an idea. They just think this is an ordinary um, power supply that you just pour so much of a load in it, such as cracking a car for so damn long, as if it's a normal car battery. Well, some people have no idea. So, what happened? This shut down in order to protect itself, which is a good thing it did, because you don't want to piss those batteries off. I'll open this up and show you what's inside. It's one of those um, electric RC skate, uh, skateboards and planes and electric scooter batteries. Not the 18650 top that um, sandwich cell type, but you got the three together. Yeah, you don't want to piss those batteries off, I tell you. Those things are bloody mental. So, luckily this unit is okay. There's nothing wrong inside that. But I cut this heat trick off, and there's four big 40 amp shot key diodes. Well, multimeter checks and confirming with this on some loads, no output. So these are blown. They're not physically, can't see any damage or blows or holes in them. But yeah, they're blown. So you got 40 amp each, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, so 80 amps. 160 amps worth of shot Q diodes. Well, um, yeah, they were the protected. They failed open circuit in order to protect the battery in there from um, air welling. As I said, you don't want to piss those batteries off. So I've ordered these now. I've got a set of 10, so I always buy more than what I need. Oh, this is a, although there's no S, these are the S surface mount type. I suppose they, um, yeah, they've cut the bloody tops off. <laughs> the chip at the bottom, through hole component, then buy the S surface mount version of this exact same component. So, ST, the ones I got are international rectifier brand. I've checked this and I've, um, I've got 480 coil cranking amps out of 500 coil cranking amps. I would have connected to here and bypass this and test it with this and it confirms this unit is okay. So it's a 500 car crack in that battery inside that. 16,500 milliamp hour, 2,000 cycles, 12 volt, 5 volt to amp for charging phones and the USB. 600 amp peak current for 3 seconds only. You don't want to put too much load for too long because you've got thermal and mainly thermal. The bloody camera's playing up again. Stupid thing. What I was saying was 300 amps is a starting current. So, there's got a protection circuitry. This is all fine, this circuit board. There's nothing wrong there, thankfully. And this circuit board is a BMS board, battery monitoring system. That is okay. So these types of batteries, and never stub them with a screwdriver either. As I said, these are like a nuclear reactor going into meltdown if these are abused in any way. So do treat them carefully. So that's pretty much what it is. You've got a little XT connector in there. This circuit board's all fine. They smelt something burning, it was this that failed. Luckily, there's protection in this thing. But I will make sure that he um, ever lends this thing to anyone. Nail it into their bloody skulls. Do not crank for too long if the car doesn't start. You will bugger this unit up. That batchy EOLs, they're going to regret it. So, yeah, these are good. But they're not for cranking and doing stupid things with it. That's what my um, ESM capacitor battery, uh, ultra capacitors are for. Then you can crank them down and sort them out. Doesn't affect anything. They're not going to get damaged. This you cannot. It's just not meant for cranking like well, <laughs> cranking like a bastard. Never do it with this. It's not designed for that. It's not the right sort of battery for it. It's only for short bursts only. So, anyway, let's put it back together and I'll give it another test on camera. How yeah, this reads and that it's actually fully charged. Also set to what a bad connection is this thing. This thing picks up the slightest dirtier connection. Very sensitive to dirty connections, this bloody thing. Very sensitive to that. Let's see how it goes, even though it's not low on voltage. 
Yeah, see, my connection's got high resistance, but the battery's fully charged. Well, I took it off the charge about a minute ago before I pulled it apart. Ah, damn it. I can't get a good connection. I'll play around with it. I'll have more lower resistance than that. Here we go. Here we go. Damaged components. There we go. Those, we're passing enough power to run this, but they won't pass any current more than to run this. So yeah, there we go, that's better. Four hundred ninety feet. it's about five hundred o'clock cranking amps, that little thing, over the jet of that. Not bad, low, low uh, impedance. So that's directly without these buggered shot key diodes. So, they'll pass a current, but this thing was so low and the resistance was so damn high, they're damaged, so, they're touchy. They weren't working at all before, so, yeah, they are damaged, so. When those are off, I'll replace those, and, um, I haven't gotten a heat trick like this, but I have to just put some normal heat trick and just layer it over and over and over until it's all thick. Now, make sure... He's going to lend this to his um, cousin, his, uh, his, his uh, yeah, my brother's friend's cousin did that, did this. Make sure he bloody doesn't overload it and crank for too long. So yeah, live your mind problem of batteries. This is a lot of protection there for a reason. Don't abuse them. Jump styles like this are only meant for a short burst to start a car if the battery's low. Not directly to start the car without the battery and just crank it like it's a bloody diesel you're trying to cold start a diesel not for that this isn't designed for that here's something like a bloody welder that will crack that a starter motor burns out this no no way anyway it's all nice and fixed for now this and it's fine until i get my parts off i've uh, also bought some um a nice big uh, six to eight eight uh an eight uh that 8 times 18650 battery caddy slash power bank and charger kit which I'm going to use to put my um, laptop cells to use. I can also use all those other um, two out of my flashlight in that bank as a good flash charger for the batteries in my flashlight that I got. Which is a lot more reliable than the inbuilt charger in that light because the light as I was charging that light when it was new the bloody charger inside that light burnt out so well, the light's fine, but this uh, universal power bank kit I got will have those two batteries that came with that light plus the six laptop cells in that battery bank, and let's use it as a charger, a more reliable one. I also get a, um, a USB power bank out of it, a quite a heavy duty, powerful one, too, so bonus. Make good use of old laptop batteries that way. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.